Uh, my walkout song is Trooper, We're Here for a Good Time. And I chose it for a couple of reasons. <laughs> After my Contender series, I said like, oh, I'm not here for a long time, I'm here for a good time. And I thought of that because my coach, who unfortunately wasn't able to be there for my Contender series fight, He's got it like family and everything at home. So he wasn't able to make it out. Um, but that was his walkout song always. And man, he's he's a gangster. He's the man. So uh, so I thought of that song, like because of him, then everyone started like talking about it. And now he's able to be in my corner for this fight. So it's kind of like an ode to him. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's like super fitting. And I, I'm really jacked up for it. Jacob Zara here with Jasmine Jazdavisius ahead of her debut at UFC 270. Jasmine, you know, you've got a pretty big opportunity getting on to Dana White's Contender Series, and then you made the most of that shot. Can you tell me about the process of getting on the show in the first place and then how you felt after you actually got the call up? Months before Contender Series was like airing, and I just I was talking to my manager, and he said, We got a Contender Series opportunity, and this is your matchup. And uh, then, you know, just went into camp and then um you know that's that's it <laughs> nothing too exciting well, it was a pretty competitive bout i thought you definitely dominated her in the first round and then she had a bit more success in the second and then ultimately it was kind of your grit and your your game planning and i think listening to your coaches that kind of got you that win so how did it feel to kind of put that all together get that win and then have dana white say you're coming up it felt amazing you know it's it's crazy because you put so much into it and you're so nervous and uh, to, to actually like see it through and get a contract. It's, it's the best thing in the world. Uh, let's talk about a little bit about your training. I know even before that you were doing some training out of Las Vegas at a syndicate MMA. And, and I know that too, with just um, with the lockdowns and everything too, and the rules changing, you know, sometimes by the week that must've presented some challenges as well. So what, what kind of challenge did you have coming into this training camp and who, who did you end up working with in advance of this fight? The restrictions weren't too bad in Canada for this camp. Uh, last camp, I, ha I had to come out to Vegas because it was like locked down and it was nuts. We had to like hide to train. It was so stupid. But um, this time around, it was, it was nice. The, the restrictions were, were pretty lenient. So um, I ha finally had some girl partners to train with and the, obviously the guys as well that the guys that are lighter weights, but uh, I've been fortunate enough to uh, to have like a good group for my entire camp, and uh, it's been awesome. Who exactly have you worked with? I know you've had some kind of fairly high level fighters, and I'm just kind of wondering what you think that bringing those kind of fighters and I'm working with them on a day to day basis, what the, how that adds to your game? Yeah, so I have uh, Ashley Nichols. She's a uh, kickboxer. Like you know, I I don't know how many times champion that and then also i've been uh, working with some of the people from house of champions making the trip down it's only about like half an hour drive to me so um diana bobia is there and then they've got some kickboxers there that are world champions and um and then of course like i have all the the wrestlers that are that are good and you know i've i've uh i've been fortunate to have a lot of a lot of really high level partners this time um i have my boxing coach actually that uh, he he's able to make it down to Anaheim for fight week, which is which is sick. He's like ten and zero pro, ten knockouts. So I'm uh, I'm hoping that some of that rubbed off on me. Let's talk about your fight then. What do you know about your opponent, and how do you see the fight on? She's well rounded. I think it'll be a good matchup. I think it'll be a really fun fight. Both of us like to uh, go to the ground or keep it standing. We're, we're both like down to scrap wherever. Uh, so I think it's going to be a really good matchup. You've had like a pretty meteoric rise through MMA here now. And now you're getting this massive shot on a huge card. It's the first pay-per-view of the year. Two huge title fights on the card. How do you think you're going to feel in front of that big crowd under those bright lights going into the bout? Looking forward to it. I love a big crowd. Um, on fight week, you're nervous and everything. But as soon as you step in the cage, all those nerves go away. And, uh, you yeah, know, I've, I've uh, been through this process, so I know that the nerves are all just part of it. And um, I can't wait. The, the bigger the crowd, the better for me. I think we can't wait to watch you uh, coming up on Saturday night. And uh, I just want to say good luck. Best of luck. Thank you so much.